This is Squad Busters, Supercell's newest game, and I am playing every single day until I beat the game, and that means going all the way up to Squad League. Currently, we are in Beach World, and uh, we've got some progression that I gotta catch you guys up on, because today is day 66. It has been 19 days since my last recording. I've been spending my coins on chest tickets. Those are the best way to do so. However, I had so many coins previous episode that uh, I was never gonna run through them, so I've been spending those additional coins on the baby archer queens we also got our free trader and i did something that i regret doing there is this offer right here for these ice spirits in this event that we've got going on right here you kill ice spirits to be able to open up chests i thought that purchasing a hundred ice spirits would get me up to halfway through here that's not how it works out every single time you open up a chest it consumes five of them so it's only going to get me like i'm only about to like right there instead. <laughs> Still, it is some progression and it's actually pretty great because honestly, I'm getting a little burnt out. Uh, just to be honest with you guys, I'm getting a little bit burnt out on here. I think that Squad Busters might just not be my game, and that's okay. But I just have zero desire to grind this out. You have to get so many ice spirits in order to unlock every single chest. However, the rewards are still very, very good. Let's go ahead and open them up here. This is a guaranteed Ice World character. So either Jesse, Mr. T, or Ice Wizard. I'm hoping for Jesse because I really like Jesse. She's my favorite character in Brawl Stars, and yes. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm very happy with that. Um, okay, now we take 10 and we open this up here. We're going to get a rare chest here. Let's see what we get. Some tanks. That's perfect. I honestly don't even care what I get. We got some epics here. This is this could be anything. I just want to be able to upgrade as many of my characters as I possibly can. Okay, we're spending 20 here. This is our second ice chest. So this could be Jesse. It could also be Mr. T or the ice wizard. Oh, the fact that we did not get any upgrades tells me that this is probably the ice wizard. Let's see here. Oh, oh, come on. Boom. Two brand new characters unlocked just like that. That is fantastic. We're going to open this one. This is a common chest. Could be anything, whatever it is. Going to be happy. We got some barbarians. That should help us upgrade the next barbarian. Is this going to be Mr. T? The chances of this being Mr. T are very unlikely, but it, no, it's not. Okay. We already know it is not going to be. Give me some Jessies though. I want the Jessies. Beautiful. Could not have hoped for anything better. Okay, let's open this one right here. We got some epics. Could be anything. Happy with anything. Which is perfect. And now I do not have any more to be able to uh, unlock anymore. That's okay. I'm perfectly happy with that. Genuinely am happy with it. Before now, I actually had every single epic brawler in the game. I didn't grab a clip of this. I was away from my office when I got this, but I unlocked Mortis. Very excited about that. Mortis is another fantastic brawler from Brawl Stars. And now we have the Ice Wizard and Jesse to be able to unlock. Now, I have like every single character here I can upgrade except for the two that I am, <laughs> haven't. And these are going to be helpful to be able to get XP in order to progress along um, here and hopefully get me to Squad League. I don't think that I'm quite there just yet, but let's go ahead and open up some coins here. We're going to open up this rare chest. Anything to give me some more XP would be fantastic. Thank you, Hog Rider. We got some hammers. Also, I've claimed um, 13 of these Mega Shellies. Um, not to like. I don't really care too much about this. It's fantastic. You don't get to use Megas very frequently. And I have quite a few Dragon Chickens and Magical Shellies, so whenever I get a Mega Unit, it'll be either one of them. That's just fine with me. Okay, now let's do some upgrading. We've got a ton of Barbarians. Look at that XP just shoot up. Oh, that's great. We also got one Barbarian going towards a Super, so that's nice. We're going to upgrade a bunch of Goblins. Lots of... Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, thank you very much. I love being able to upgrade, upgrade them to Supers because this is an additional 200 XP. Okay, open up some Gregs. We should be able to evolve Greg now. Thank you. We got some Colts. Should be able to upgrade a Colt. Couple of Primos. No more El Primos upgrade. Three chickens. We've got two uh, healers and that me or medics. I always call him healer, but that gets him upgraded. Dynamikes. We got some hog riders. We've got some witches. We've got barbarian kings. Some oh tons of archer queens because of all the archer queens that I purchased. Couple Shellies. That'll be great. We got some bows. That'll be fantastic. Got some Nitas. That's all we got there. B. Is that enough? Oh, so exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and evolve. B. That is fantastic. B, stay with B for the rest of the battle. Oh, that is actually huge. They had a timer beforehand they would run out. This actually makes B worth picking. I have not been picking B because I didn't feel like she was worth it. But this is actually really good. Just come right on over here and that timer just goes forever. It's kind of funny that they even show the flashing timer because it's supposed to last forever. Wait, 
What's going on here? The timer's still running out. Let me figure out what happens when it reaches zero. Okay, I've been standing here for a long time and I realized what they did. Rather than just make it, getting rid of the timer, they just made the timer so long that it's way longer than an actual match would ever be. So these will probably disappear when you're just sitting here in the trading match, but in an actual match, you'll have them long enough that it won't even matter. So that's kind of funny and weird that they did it like that. <laughs> I timed it and it, it, it just takes so long. Somehow I missed the chicken. Oh, we also get to evolve the witch. What does she do here? Gives a skeleton barrel spell. Okay, let's check this out here. Evolve the witch. Very nice. Okay, skeleton barrel. You drop the skeleton barrel. There's a bunch of skeletons. Oh, and they look a little bit different. That's interesting. But yeah, little skeleton army. Okay, cool. That That's exciting. You can purposefully use the skeletons and place them wherever you want to. Oh, I should also show you Mortis. So Mortis revives up to three busted monsters into your squad. So let's see what happens here. He's going to kill him and then he dies and then he resurrects and now he is part of my squad. <laughs> this happens up to three times and he's just hanging out here. My, now my question here, I don't know if it is going to work against these, these guys or not. Let's see. It does work for these hammer guys for sure. Uh, one thing also you'll notice is that their health actually decreases over time. So they will die uh, similar to like baby chickens and skeletons and stuff like that. Before we kill this guy, we need one of the guys to die. Okay, one of them died. Now let's give this a try here. Come on. No, boss monsters do not respawn. Interesting. But if you evolve him like we're doing right now, then revived monsters turn into bats. Uh, okay, let's try that out. Okay, he attacks them, they die. Revived monsters turn into bats? What? This guy's not a bat. Does it happen if he dies first or something like that? Like, what's going on? Okay, one of them died and did not turn into a bat. Okay, what happens when they die? Oh! Well, when they oh when they lose HP, they turn into bats. Then, that's weird. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this this third one's going to turn into a bat. So then they they just chase separately, and then you can keep gathering them, and they kind of like work like skeletons. That could have been described a little bit better, but I'm cool with it. The bats can take damage just like normal. Um, yeah. So the bats are helpful. Cool. I missed a dynamite evol evolution. Oh, we got quite a few Mavises here. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and evolve her as well to super level. We got a couple traders. We get to evolve the heavy. So his new ability is going to be increase his max shooting speed. So this is before. In oh, this is such a terrible example because he gets stunned and resets, but that's his max sp shooting speed right now. Okay, we're going to get a bunch of those ev evolved and let's go ahead and evolve him now. 200 XP and increase his max shooting speed. Let's give him a try because it's the same guy. So he's going to deal with the same stun. Oh, that, that actually seemed significantly faster. Dude, take a look at that. That's really good. That's a lot of additional damage. We've got enough to upgrade tank as well. Let's see this here. What's her next one? Tank starts with overdrive. So overdrive is where they have an increased um, attack speed. And it looks like this time you actually get um, that as soon as you pick up the tank. Boom. Okay. She is level three star. That's a super level. And that is fantastic because she's really good on offense, like really good. Okay. Now when you first pick her up, she doesn't actually start with the tank, as you guys know. But let's see what this is like. You get the tank and she's immediately in an overdrive and will deal lots of damage fast. Oh, and it looked like it lasted clear up until she did her first attack of damage. So let's see this here. Okay, so she's in overdrive. Dude, look at that flashing circle. She is ready to go into overdrive as soon as she does the first attack of damage. That's actually really powerful because then you can save it for a really strong moment. Cool. We can also evolve Max. Oh, that's not quite enough. I thought we were going to be able to like evolve her to super level, but no. We also have a couple of battle healers. We have Royale King three times. Oh my gosh, guys, we are so close. Look at this here. We are within one. One level of squad league. Okay, can this happen? Because we do have quite a few resources that we can actually get right here. Let's go ahead and open up this emote pack. Okay, very cool. Okay, my question here is if I get this chest doubler and open up the rest of these chests, is it going to double those chests as well? Or is it... I mean, I have to try this. I Okay, let's, let's try it out. Or is it just the chest that you get when you open stuff up? Let's see here. Let's open up this epic. It's a super big. That is really nice. Oh, some witches. Thank you. Okay, we're going to open this up here. Chest doubler for the next um, 15 minutes. Let's open this up here. Is it giving me doublers? No, it does not double these ones. Dang it. I thought I could like actually utilize that. Okay, well, let's do this right now. And uh, oh, we open up the pinata. It's going to give us some stuff. We're going to try and burn through this chest doubler right now and get as many resources as we possibly can. We got some um, some tickets. 
some keys. That is really nice. And play smashes. Now, in my last episode, when I had a chest streak saver or whatever, I just lost over and over and over again to try and maximize my chest. Um, but that's because I lost my win streak. But right now, I have a decent win streak. So I'm just going as fast as I possibly can. And actually focusing on winning because that way I can get the most value out of each of my chests. And also, I don't have a ton of tickets or coins left to buy a bunch of tickets. Oh, let's start with Mortis here. I've not played with Mortis, so let's try it out. Just right off the bat, I've just got a bunch of little guys here. That's actually really cool. They don't do a ton of damage, though. They're really weak. Okay, so I'm attacking somebody's enemy skeletons. My question is, when I kill them, will they actually become join my team? No, they did not join my team. Interesting. So you can't utilize enemy skeletons to do so. That's an ice bear, by the way. They just hide in bushes and then you kill them. They give you gems and they help you progress towards the ice world um, chests. Okay, I have a fuse mortis. I never tested this. When you have multiple mortises, you can revive actually more enemies. So I think that I have nine monsters actually on my team right here. I don't, maybe it's not nine. I, I don't know, but there's quite a few of them. It's more than the three that it tells you that you can do. Okay, and that is a very close first place victory. And that's that is fantastic because that means that that is going to get doubled during this chest doubler event here. Okay, let's see what we get here. Give me something good. Oh, a super big with doublers. Uh, 12? Oh, yes. Oh, that is the best. Look at that. That is fantastic. Okay, we still got five minutes. We got enough for two more chests, actually. I realized that I didn't show you guys Jesse or the Ice Wizard. Let me finish this match, uh, or let me finish this chest doubler first and then show that to you guys. Oh, that was terrible timing. I might have just lost my win streak here. That is really close. Oh, just barely. Dang it, that is really frustrating. Uh, that's what I get for fighting other people. Like I said, that's one of the most frustrating aspects of the game. And I'll, I'm going to say my honest opinions on the game, actually, for a different video, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> But we got double hog rider. We got enough time to hop into another match and take advantage of that uh, chest doubler. There's a reason why I didn't activate both chest doublers at the same time. It's because you can actually get some value out of it. Oh, we got one coin chest in Yeti Peak. Okay, this is the first time that I've actually uh, shown this on a video. I actually know this is the first time I've played Yeti or one coin chest. Every chest costs one coin. So, um, yeah, so you just get massive amounts of people on your team. Massive squads. Just grab one coin, run to the next chest. The biggest goal for this event, I imagine here, is to just run between chests as fast as you possibly can uh, because their their costs are never going to increase. So you might as well build as big of a squad as you possibly can. So having control of an area is actually a big deal. Okay, I just got my first fuse, Jesse. My question is what happens to the scrappy that I've dropped? Is it gonna be bigger? I don't know, we'll see here. Okay, these squads are absolutely massive in size and I do not have an offensive comp. I got a bunch of traders. That's my whole goal for winning here. So I've got to like stay away from people. Okay, now that I've got traders um, galore, then I am able to pick up these coins and just profit. Boom, bunch of gems right there just for picking up some coins. Very nice. Because chests are so inexpensive, um, the squads are absolutely massive. There's a lot of fighting between people. I am in first place though. My goal here is to just try and avoid everybody. Battle healer to help keep me alive. Let's see if we can't just get one more stack of gems from my traders. Oh, I was able to, but it looks like somebody dealt some damage and took a bunch of gems from somebody else. So I didn't even get first. That's okay. Second place is still just fine. And we did get four additional taps to be able to upgrade this. It's not very big, but that's okay. We get some chickens. That is twice the number of chickens. Thank you. Oh, we also do have this epic chest right here. That's really nice. Okay, some maxes. Great. Um, we have, we open up these four. So we've got the baby. Oh, you know what? Before I open them, just in case they're a chest teller, I better claim my other stuff. Um, we've got this. Pinata. Give me some nice stuff. Okay. 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 <laughs> We also have Busting Dark Goblin, one chest, and Discover Skeleton Spell. Cool. But let's take a look at Jessie here, okay? Um, whenever you open up a chest when Jessie is in your squad, then she will deploy Scrappy, her turret. Grabbing another Jessie so you can see. Scrappy deals damage to enemy monsters and people. Let's test the damage a little bit. Can we pull this guy over here? Come on, get over here. Oh, it, it attacks from a long distance away. That's a good range. Look at that, and that's a lot of damage as well. So what happens when I get um, a fused Jesse? Okay, here's a fused one. Let's see, is it going to deal more damage? This is much easier to pull. Okay, come over here. Um, It looks very similar. Maybe it's tankier, I don't know. As you can see though, it does lose HP over time. This is a fantastic option to go when paired with like the Royal King, because the Royal King will also drop, um, you know, troops and stuff like that around, and you can really protect an area and claim it as your own, because that's a lot of HP that enemies have to actually 
deal with if they're going to try and take over, like, get to a chest. Now let's talk about the Ice Wizard. Whenever you get an Ice Wizard, he will give you a Super Freeze spell. And the Super Freeze spell does more damage and has more slow than a regular freeze spell. I mean, look how slowly that thing is attacking. Those are normally barraging like a lot. So it's actually pretty nice, but the big reason to, for you to actually pick the Ice Wizard is for his future upgrades where he gets a little bit of splash damage. You can actually see the tiny little bits of splash damage that he does. There's a little circle, uh, a white or blue circle at the very bottom. So he deals target damage to multiple enemies. In fact, let me show that to you, okay? Look, right there, boom, he attacks all three of them uh, once they're actually close up and clumped up. So really good against a lot of enemies and it slows them down a little bit too. Okay, now we can claim this just in case there is a chest doubler. Last one, what do you know? Chest doubler, let's open this up really quickly. Give me some good, give me some fast. Okay, now we hop into another match. Gotta take advantage of these whenever you get them. Oh, got a sixth place. I thought for sure it was fifth place. It was so close. Let's open this up. Oh, super big with a rare and a chest doubler. This could be great. Oh, that is actually fantastic. Thank you. I was just tapping really quickly because yes, let's go. I only had 15 seconds longer to get into a match in order to make this work out. What's this gonna be? Golem meteors. I've only played this one other time. Basically golems are falling from the sky. I'm going to go ahead and start with Goblin. Uh, I'm going to try and get some good uh, troops very early on. Let's go ahead and open this up here. Now, the golems, when they drop, they drop gems. And also, when you kill them, they give you gems as well. They act pretty much just like regular goblins, um, except that they're kind of all over the map. So you don't have to be right in the center to actually destroy them. My goal this match is to destroy as many of these as I possibly can. Not just to win, but honestly, mostly so that I can get um, the experience in the book of experience or whatever it's called for killing a lot of them because I'm trying to get to Royal World very soon. Okay, we got another golem right there. Thank you for all those gems. Okay, third golem. Let's grab this tank. Oh, in fact, that's actually perfect placement there. Thank you. Destroy him, come on. Got another tank. Hoping that other tank responds here pretty soon. Thank you. It's kind of tricky to deal with two uh, bosses right next to each other like that. But worth it, obviously. Okay, another golem. That is really nice. Oh, look at all that stuff down there in the weeds. You just got to check that sometimes. Escape the vines. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Let's see if we can bust some guy. Okay, there we go. Um, that ended up being pretty good. That was, a, that was a nice showcase of that match. 344 gems. That is a lot. That is a high gem match. Let's see what we get from here. Super big rare. Love to see that. Oh, yes. Yes, we completed all three of those quests. We busted some golems. Thank you. That's what I wanted to do and finish top three in the meteor. That's great. Okay, let's open up this chest. We've gotten some more ice spirits. Give me some good stuff. A big regular chest. Okay, regular traders. Very good. Got a couple of more magical shellies as well. Okay, and then we've got this other chest doubler. So we have got another 15 minutes to burn through. Um, we have to buy some um, some more tickets here. Let's go ahead and buy five. That should be enough. In fact, that might have been too much, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's open it here. Oh, I'm wasting time. I'm just going to get right back into the match. That takes too long. Okay. Play match. Go. Oh, another Golem Meteors. I don't think... I could be wrong. I don't think I've ever had the same one twice in a row. Could be completely wrong, though. Okay, first place here. We're starting that, that win streak. We're going to try and keep it up here for this duration of this chest doubler going on. Okay, some Shellies. Very nice. Let's keep going. That was a very good match here. We got 539 gems. First place, absolutely. Like I'm, I'm just spam clicking things as fast as I possibly can. Try to get through this. You want to maximize these chest doublers as much as possible. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. Okay, hopefully we can get two more matches in. I don't know if it'll be possible or not though. Just had an absolutely terrible time that match. It was just awful people just chasing me left and right. I did survive, but whatever. We did get a rare though. Um, let's see what happens. It's a hog rider times five. Do we have enough time? We Oh, we've got plenty of time for another match. I don't know why I was rushing. I can kind of chill here. I mean, you know what? I just lost my win streak. Let's uh, let's let's lose really fast. Take advantage of the time that we have left. If I can lose within one minute and get into another match, then that's one more chest. I'm gonna grab the chicken. Let this guy kill me. Oh, this is perfect. He is letting me die. Thank you. That was that is exactly what I needed. Tenth place. That's okay. We get this doubled. Two Mavises, so that's four Mavises. Perfect. And we have 30 seconds, so we just have to finish matchmaking in the next 30 seconds. Oh, yes. Mega start. Interesting. I wonder what I'll have. Mega start is actually pretty fun sometimes. El Tigre. Okay, first place bonus here. Super big. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so good. That was my last ticket. The XP or the token doubler is over. We got 5,000 coins right here. Let's grab all of this. 
Sweet, sweet XP. Thank you so much. Oh, people, it is happening here. Let's grab this 1,000 coins. Epic chest here. Super big epic chest. Oh, yes. Royal King. And now we make this happen. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Oh, <laughs> just popped up. Welcome to the squad league. Oh yes, I'm so happy. I am so happy because you know why? Now that we are at squad league, oh, this is so good. Something happens now that we're at squad league, okay? Something very special. Oh yes, new world reach. Squad league is here. Bronze league, sweet. So we're in bronze league here. This is squad league. The cool thing about squad league is the fact that you actually have this lineup is actually going to be the same for every single person that is playing my next match. So it's actually a lot more balanced and fair because you know what everybody's going to be using. And then you can see right there, it says new lineup one in one minute, then it will change. And it's the same for everybody. So that's really cool. And as you progress through squad league, then you get all these rewards and it just continues. And in three days, seven hours, it resets. But what also also ends in three hours, seven days, Ice World is released. And that means that Squad League gets moved from level 90 all the way up to level 120. So I either had to reach Squad League as a free to play player within the next three days, or I had to push all the way up to level 120. And I'm so excited that that happened because that means that this series where my whole goal is to reach Squad League as a free to play player is done. I have done it. As a free to play player, I have not missed a single day of playing in order to, for me to make this happen in 66 days. Let me show you the account after 66 days of complete free to play. I have 26 of the 30 units in the game. I did have every epic actually unlocked before I actually started filming today and Dr. T is the one that I am missing. Surprisingly, it is actually the rares that I'm uh, not that I'm missing, you know, the wizard, Pam and Penny, almost every single one of my character is at three stars or super level. In fact, I just realized this. I know that I said this earlier, but I got witch to three stars without actually buying any witch units. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, every single one of my commons are at three stars and all of my rares other than the ones that I actually unlocked today are also at three stars. So I'm feeling actually pretty good about where I've progressed. And the fact that I did it all free to play honestly feels really satisfying and good to me. There was a point where I was tempted to spend money on the game because I knew it would get me to squad leak much faster, but I'm glad that I didn't. As a free to play player, I haven't spent a single cent on the game. And I'm also really excited because that means that I don't have to play every single day anymore. And I'm really hopeful that that makes it so that I enjoy playing this game more because let me tell you, I have enjoyed this game more than I actually thought that I would. There are aspects of this game that before I even started this journey, I knew that I wasn't going to like about Squad Busters. And I will share those, those thoughts in a future video, my 100% honest update review. But I will also say that there are aspects of this game that I did not expect to make me excited about and happy about. And I'm just really happy that now I can play it at like the rate that I want to play it as opposed to having to play every single day. It was a journey and I'm glad that it's over. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> but I want to know what you guys thought about this series. So let me know in the comment section below and we will see you in another Squad Busters video. My 100% honest update review of the game. Don't miss it.